Welcome back to Lightscribe.tv. In this video, I just want to show you how to find the control panel, first of all, because it um, doesn't appear, as I said, in later versions of Windows on the desktop, and configure it so it works um, in, in its optimal way for Lightscribe. So to do this, go to your Start menu, All Programs, and under Lightscribe Direct Disk Labeling, you will find the control panel. So if you click on it once, it'll open up. There we are, let's drag that down there. And that's what we have. Now, first off, if you go to your system information, if you have your Lightscribe drive either as an internal drive on your PC, or like I do as an external USB drive, it will appear here. If it doesn't appear here, you have a problem. And we'll address these problems in later videos. But let's make the assumption, and it's a big assumption sometimes, that your um, Lightscribe drive has been found, if you like, by your Lightscribe system software, and it's there. So it says available, and there it is. Excellent. That's the version of the system software. You should always have this one. It's the latest one on my website, and it's the last one you'll ever have, because Lightscribe or HP won't update it ever again. So, by the way, don't ever use the download update because that's a bit like the other ones we had in the other video that go to links that don't exist anymore. So, that's one thing, just to check that that's okay. And now, the other settings you need to do is this. Modify contrast settings. Now, this will make sure the labels you produce are as dark as they possibly can be. Now, it takes a little bit longer, but they are the darkest. Now, because I've had all this installed and uninstalled it all so I could show you it being installed, I still have um, leftover, well, reg settings, I think they are, that have already done this for me. But when you get it, it'll, it will be like this. It will be on that one. This you want to make sure it's on this one so you get the enhanced um, settings to make the labels as dark as possible. So yours will be there if it's a fresh install. Do the radio button above and go apply OK. Now you can, if we go back to there and open it up again, you can put a um, shortcut on the desktop, or you can pin it to the taskbar if you wish. To be perfectly honest, you don't need to because you've just done everything you need to do with it. As long as your drive is there, you'll never touch it again. And that's it. Well, very short and very simple, but that's this video over with.